Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Goddess Serenity. I'm so happy to have you here with me. Namaste. Blessed be to those who are new, who are just joining for the first time. If you like this video, do hit like, don't hesitate, and subscribe to my channel right away because you will be in for a wonderful time, great interaction, fun, and learning all at the same time. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And today we are discussing the magical uses of that wonderful spice we all know and love, cinnamon. Cinnamon is associated with the element of fire. Cinnamon is representative of that warmth of the sun, as we all know. It is also associated with the root chakra, your sacral chakra, as well as your solar plexus chakra. The cinnamon tree is a spicy aromatic, and we also know it is inexpensive, it is easy to find, it is very versatile, therefore it is something that should be actually used or utilized in many different ways in your practice of the craft. Today we're just going to go over 10 different magical ways that we can use cinnamon to enhance and heighten our spiritual or magical life. The first way is to burn it. We can burn cinnamon for purification. We can burn the powder or the stick. It clears away negative energy from your home or whatever space you may be in at the time. The second way, you can use it in a money pouch or a sachet, also known as a mojo bag. We all know what that is. <laughs> Cinnamon is representative of riches, of abundance, of wealth, and prosperity. So it is definitely something good for that, for drawing that wonderful abundance that we all seek. The third way we can use cinnamon is to infuse it in our tea or, or drink or, or even eating it. Because for those of us who practice divination, cinnamon is known to help enhance our clairvoyant abilities. It is going to enhance awareness, your psychic awareness. So before you do that reading, remember to utilize or consume some cinnamon. Number four, you can hang cinnamon over the entryway of your door of your home. Because like I said, cinnamon is also a protectant. Cinnamon is going to keep the bad energy away from your entry. And it's going to keep away those with ill intentions for your home. Number five, love spells. Cinnamon is also known for firing up, like I said, with its association with that element of fire, firing up the passion and the heat in a dull or lackluster romance. Also now, number six, kitchen magic. You can bake it and bless whatever that recipe is for whoever you love as you share it. Notice the comfort that cinnamon brings when you eat it. It's satisfying and it's deliciously soothing and satisfying. Number seven, cinnamon can be burned during a moon ritual because it enhances the vibrational energy of that sacred space that you have created. Number eight, cinnamon can be used on your Yule altar. It is strongly connected to the Yule season Number nine, your tarot cards or runes can be enhanced by infusing some cinnamon in whatever you use to store those cards in, whatever secret place or special place that you put your divination items in, you can also use that same cinnamon, a stick of cinnamon in there, because it's also going to enhance the clairvoyant properties of those cards. The tenth and final way that you can use cinnamon is definitely one of the more easy and pleasurable ways to use it. You can make your own Kama Sutra oil. Of course we know don't make it too strong. We all know what Kama Sutra is. So for that enhanced blood flow and circulation and stimulation, you can use this topically during that special time of your life, if you know what I mean. So there you have it guys, 10 simple, wonderful, magical tips for the use of cinnamon. 
I hope you try at least one of them today. That will do it for me for now. Thank you guys for stopping by and taking a listen. Like I said earlier, hit that like button. If you've learned something today, subscribe to my channel if you're new. And also, leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you. What ways do you use cinnamon in your life or in your practice of magic? Let me know. Don't be shy, guys. We're all in this together. Like I love to say at the end of each video, peace, love, blessed be, and namaste.